Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, I'm going to show you what to do if the fabric softener doesn't drain from the detergent drawer of your washing machine. This is quite a common problem with all brands of washing machines. You open up the detergent drawer at the end of the wash cycle and most, if not all, of the fabric softener is still in there. The obvious thing to look for is a blockage somewhere in the drawer. So there should be a button or catch which allows you to remove the drawer. So here I'm just going to press this down and then I can pull it out. And you can see it's absolutely filthy, covered in black mould. Soaking the drawer in a mix of hot water and bleach should kill most of the mould and then you can rub away most of the residue with a damp cloth. And depending on the brand of the washing machine you might even find that the um, drawer comes apart which will make cleaning it even easier. So you can put your nice clean drawer back in, refill it with fabric softener and it should work. You run a cycle, open up the drawer and the fabric softener is still sat there. Please try not to swear at this point. Before I show you the real problem, could I please ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. All you've got to do is click on the button below, it costs you nothing but it makes an absolute massive difference to small channels like mine. So to find the real problem, we need to take the detergent drawer out again. And if we look up at the roof of the drawer cavity, you can see the, there are these blobs of black mould. Now the problem we've got is that the mould is concentrated where the water inlets are. This is where the water comes into the dispenser to wash out the fabric softener. So these ports need unblocking to allow the water to flow again. To do this we're going to need the following, we'll need a damp cloth, some cotton buds, and some incidental brushes. If you've got a big bottle brush that would help as well. The incidental brushes are just like mini bottle brushes which fit up into the water inlet ports and help us clear out any gunk that's up there. You can buy them in most supermarkets or on Amazon or eBay. I'll put an eBay link in the description below. They don't cost much and they make this job a lot easier. The first job is to use the damp cloth to wipe most of the surface mould off the roof of the cavity. You can then use a bottle brush to remove anything that's been caked on or is um, stuck in one of the hard to reach corners. And then a cotton bud is useful for removing any odd bits that might still be left on the surface at this point. It's now looking a lot better and we can move on to the final stage which is to take the incidental brush and push it into each of the water inlet ports. And wiggle it about and then when you bring it down you should find there's lots of black grot stuck to it. Wipe it off onto a paper towel and then repeat for each inlet hole until the brushes come out clean. And here you can see how much um, mould we collected just by doing this. We're then ready to refit the drawer. Refill the fabric softener compartment. And your machine's ready to run. So, I do hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.